Welcome back to the channel, another video. And this time I'm making a video about this little f funnel and this little Petri dish. No, I'm just kidding. I'm making this video and it's not sponsored. I'm making this video out of the goodness of my heart and the fact that I really love this brand. So there is a company in the UK called Hackles. It's a small brand um, and they are making some amazing products. I came across them just by chance. I went to a friend's house and he had one of these things. And what this has is basically a little box that you buy with these cones in it. They are so amazing. They smell of juniper. You take this little cone and you place it in this Petri dish and you light it up. Once it's lit, you put this on the top and it prevents the cone from burning too quickly because there's not much air from the sides. It gradually burns and then you get the tiny bit of smoke coming out of it. It's like people burn incenses. I think this is a kind of an incense and it's just divine. So when I went to my friend's house and he was burning this and I couldn't see what it was because it was lying in a corner. But it smelled so good and I thought, hmm, I want this. So I placed an order for this and they sent me... Uh, they had some delay in processing the order because everything is made in the UK and it's made in Kent by like hand probably. So there was some delay and they sent me a little candle apologizing for the delay along with these things. And when I smelt the candle, I instantly fell in love with this brand. So then I went and tried to get that fragrance from that candle and I couldn't find this box because Obviously, small company, they run out of stock if too many people order quickly because it's all handmade and stuff. So I bought these little the vials that you can travel with. And I thought I'll use these until such time that they produce the big one. So anyway, um, this is just so, so good. I can't even describe it. I wish you could smell this from the, from YouTube. But basically this one is called Pegwell Bay. Pegwell Bay. And it is my one of my most favorite, favorite fragrances. I will show you my fragrance collection and explain how I choose fragrances. But to start off with, I wanted to talk about this particular brand because it is currently my most favorite brand and I love the quality of their products. Uh, then I bought this soap from them. It's an exfoliating seaweed block as they call it. So it comes like this in this beautiful packaging and look at the size. Oh, oh my God, you just want to go have a shower every 10 minutes because you want to smell like this. And basically what I did was I cut it into two because it was just too big to rub and use on your body. So I use a smaller portion for my face and the bigger one for my body. Why do I have three? Because I have my own upstairs, but I thought I should buy some for Christmas for other people because this is just the perfect gift to give to someone. Now, moving on to the big box. It's such a beautiful box, beautifully presented. Uh, it has the location of the Pegwell Bay and that's how it comes. It is 100 milliliter fragrance, very stylish. It has this beautiful brass lid and I haven't used this so it's the first time I'm opening it. It has the same numbers etched into the glass. Very beautiful. Then it also comes with this little chalk uh, diffuser. It says, this is your miniature chalk diffuser. Charge it with your chosen Eau de Parfum by decanting a few sprays from your bottle and use it to scent a place of your choice. Let's try if this actually works. So 
so I will place it somewhere and see if if it works anyhow they haven't sponsored me in any way I just thought it's a very good brand it's a small company they are very very environmentally friendly they're trying their best to use naturally sourced products from the local areas and creating these products so I thought I should share it with you because I love it so much hopefully you guys will love it too many of you ask me about my fragrances and uh, say that I should tell you or explain which ones I have and why I buy them so let's do that today I used to have a lot of fragrances in the past where I would just have a different thing every day but recently I've decided that I should stick to a few that I really really like and buy the best quality fragrances that I can get. So Aqua de Palma is one of my all-time favorites. I love them but I prefer their old fragrances like Colonia, uh, Colonia Absoluta which is the absolute cologne and I think I recently bought this one which is the Colonia Futura and it's also very nice um, so I tend to stick with the classic fragrances the most important thing with fragrances is you need to spray them on your skin and see how long it lasts because this fragrance should never be sprayed on your clothes they should always be sprayed on your skin let the skin absorb it and then when you feel warm it comes out then there's another brand called Penhaligons. It's an English brand, very very old and f obviously quite famous I think because um, you can find it in all big stores. They have this fragrance called Helfetti, it's one of their signature fragrances. I have used several bottles of this and I absolutely love it. Um, it's kind of masculine and my kind of smell. This is another one, it's by La Labo, it's an American brand and the Santel 33 is my favorite. I buy bottle after bottle. So Aqua de Palma, La Labo, Panhaligans, and then Joe Malone as well. There are a few bottles at the back. I have a little one of Hermes left, um, some Joe Malone Dark Amber and Ginger Lily. So I tend to go for quite masculine, woody fragrances. Thanks for watching, until the next one.